there. Thank you to tuning in to Chapter 5 of Who Needs a Superhero. It is Death. It is Super, sorry, Superman Revisited, Death, Resurrection, and Doomsday. And this is Part 6, Picture Salvation. In 1993, DC Comics sold a special bagged version of Superman number 75 containing a poster and a Daily Planet newspaper clipping that reported the death of Superman. Ba the bagged edition also included a black armband emblazoned with the Superman insignia. The symbols of grief may seem silly in retrospect, but not at the time. New newspapers and television networks gave Superman's shuffle from this mortal coil plenty of coverage. Evening news stories recounted Superman's demise for weeks, and even people who didn't regularly read comics suddenly made a run to the comic shops for more of the story. DC Comics was caught off guard by the swell of public interest and response. The writers lengthened the story and story arc and delayed Superman's return for some months because, of course, Superman would come back. Superheroes nearly always come back. And comic fans couldn't imagine a world without Superman. At the time, though, after reading Superman number 75, we felt that something unthinkable had happened. Death claimed someone too good to die. A symbol had passed away. Indeed, one finds it difficult not to read symbolism into Superman's death. Consider the enemy Superman dies to defeat. Doomsday is typically a heavy-handed comic book name for a villain. In this case, however, the name scarcely exaggerates the creature's potential for devastation. The world the whole world is at risk unless some, bit, some champion can stop this dreadnought. We are not surprised that the comic book writers borrow biblical language to describe Doomsday as the Armageddon creature. Consider this scene too. As Superman flies away from the burning orphanage, one of the rescued children asks what kind of monster oh, sorry. asks what kind of monster Superman is fighting? A caregiver answers, From the way he's behaving, I'd say the devil incarnate, ushering in the end of the world. Truly, Doomsday is as close as the personification of wickedness as comic books can evoke. Theolo theologically, he represents more than human evil intent on destroying God's good creation. However, the monster's name carries an additional message we might easily overlook. In Old English, the meaning of doom was judgment. To face doom was to stand under judgment for one's deeds. In its original sense, doomsday was a religious phrase denoting the last judgment of God at the end of time. No wonder doom came to me came to mean death doesn't the thought of trying to defend our lives in the presence of God frighten the best of us in any fair trial before God we fear we are doomed indeed in this sense the monstrous doomsday also represents the judgment that condemns us in our own eyes facing an evil of this magnitude Superman could not simply beat Doomsday into submission or jail him for his crimes. Doomsday was too powerful for an easy victory. He has combined death, evil, and judgment into one terrifying figure. In retrospect, the stakes were too high for a cheap win. The defeat of this gigantic threat demanded a heavy price. Superman had taken it upon himself to be humanity's champion, and the one who came from above had to finally lay down his life to fulfill his mission. No lesser effort would have halted the onslaught of evil. No smaller sacrifice would ransom those in the path of destruction. You cannot 
know Superman. It, you can know Superman as a fictional character and still be moved by his story. His death brought tears to my own eyes and echoed a much older story. This one, true. Behind the slumped figure of death, Superman, an upraided piece of a broken lumber, juts from the wreckage and a tattered cape of cape of the Man of Steel hangs on the boards that flutters in the wind. In my eyes, that heaven-reaching timber casts the shadow of the cross over the seam. Superman is no savior, but his dying rescue metropolis points our hearts towards the true savior who died for the world. We are up against a power greater than ourselves. Call it doomsday, sin, evil, or Satan. You must admit we are outmatched on our own. We cannot defeat this enemy because in truth, somewhere, some inward part of us collaborates with this force. Our good deeds and our hard work will never be enough to claim victory. Just as Batman, wealth, just as Batman, wealth, success, and technology will not redeem us either. Iron Man is proof enough of that. The powers of this world will fall, fail us in the heat of battle. Rescuers may come out to our aid, but even the noblest and strongest of them cannot truly save us. For us to escape the fate that stalks us, someone must die in our place. Some hero must interpose himself and accept the killing blow meant for us. Then he must rise again to love us for all eternity. He must embrace us with a love that transforms our hearts, saves, saves us from ourselves, and teaches us to love in return. Where can, are we find, where can we find a hero so worthy? The cover of Superman number 75 is a grave tombstone, gray, bearing the chiseled words, Here lies earth greatest hero. With all due respect to Superman, I know a greater hero who is more than a rescuer. Read the inscription in black and white on the New Testament. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which must be saved. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Jesus is now and forever our Savior. At the cost of his own life, Jesus conquered sin, death, and doomsday on our behalf. To put it simply, Jesus went to hell and back to save his own. Even death could not hold him, and he lives today, renewing, not just rescuing, life for all who love him. This is no accident, ancient fable, or veritable myth. This is the truest story of them all. Every other tale about good overcoming evil merely echoes the greatest story from the center of time and the heart of God. In the potent closing pages of Superman's death tale, a weeping Lois Lane holds the body, holds the bloody lifeless figure of Superman in her arms. The pose evokes a well-known sculpture of Mary cradling the crucified body of Jesus. The homage to Michelangelo is unnecessary, however. The comparison is inevitable. Never before or since has Superman appeared so divine. For all Superman's powers, all his good deeds and mighty victories, it's this moment of brokenness when he truly appears like Christ. In the past, Superman's rescued countless people, but on this day, he has laid down his life for his people. Isn't this what salvation looks like? And this is the end of chapter 5. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, share, and comment. And stay tuned. Uh, in the near future, we have chapter 6 coming. Wonder Woman, the power of truth. So bye for now. God bless and have a great and wonderful day.